uh, the strategy that you're going to work on today is to determine cause and effect. And on this post-it note, I have what caused. So when you read a page and there has a, there's a post-it note, you're going to write the rest of that question. Let me show you what I mean, okay? So let's read the first page to we talk about the first trains and I'll model for you since you've not done this before. Long ago, there were no cars, airplanes, or trains. People traveled in carriages or wagons pulled by horses. When the first trains were invented, they were also pulled by horses. The very first railroads went only a short distant, distance. So I'm thinking, what caused the first trains to go. Does it tell you what causes them to go? No. It does. It does. Go back and reread. What moved or what caused the first trains to move? What does it say about that? By horses. By horses. So here's what you're going to do you would write what caused the first trains to move. You're going to write the question when you come to that page, okay? Then turn the page. When you get to this page, some of you have a post-it note on this page and some of you don't. If you have a post-it note, you're going to read the page and then you're going to come up with your own what caused question. Okay, let's go ahead and start reading. So go back and read that first page. You already know, you can go ahead and write your question for that first pair, that first page on page five. What's your question gonna be, Marisol? That. What caused the first trains to move? move. Good, write that down. Now you can go ahead and start reading on this page, okay? Okay, so do you remember what caused them to move, Jasmine? By horses. By horses. Okay, so go ahead and start reading here, and then you're going to be writing your what caused question, okay? Okay, you actually did your answer. Nice work. Go ahead and whisper read to me. The first thing, the first thing power train was built in 1804. It was called the lo mm -hmm. Locomotive. 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 Now, do you know what a locomotive is? On the picture, it looks like it's that thing. That thing. Very good. Can you explain what the locomotive is? It looks like it lets out the steam and all and so what might it do for the train? To help it go faster. You're absolutely right. Ellie, she did a great job of explaining locomotive. Keep reading. So, tell me about this page, Marisol. Can you tell me what you learned? It's basically what um, it's on top of the train and it goes like and it makes that noise. Where, um, Show me about that. Where do you think the locomotive might be? I think you're right. I think it's all this. All right. Can you use your glossary to maybe get some more information about the locomotive? Want to try that? And I'll come back and talk to you. Go ahead back and read it about the horse. So did you come up with a question yet? Mm, not yet. Okay. So like, let me help you. Um, that's my job. So when you're trying to come up with a what cause question, you want to go to the a sentence, any sentence in there, and then turn that into a what caused question. So let's try this one. Read this to me. To make steam workers shoveled wood or coal. 
coal? Do you know what coal is? It's these little black rocks that they used to burn to make a fire, like charcoal. Okay, keep going. Into a firebox that heated water in a boiler. So let's take this part right here and see if you can make a what caused question. What caused the steam? You know what steam is? No. Okay. Use your picture to see if you can point to what the steam is on the locomotive. Okay. The steam is right here. It's like when you boil water in a pot and then you see that smoke on the water? That's the steam. So what caused the steam would be a what caused question. And that'd be a good one for us to discuss. So go ahead and write that. Okay. Did you come up with anything? What did you learn? Um, Explain it to me more. Basically, it's the steam that goes and it pushes the train more so it can like, go faster. It does. The locomotive pushes the train. And that's right. That's where the steam is. Nice work. Okay, so now you're going to read this. And you're going to come up with a what caused question. We forgot to write that on here to help you. Okay. So talk to me about what you got there. I, I put what caused them to make more real roads. <coughs> Did you come up with? Yeah, I put they needed to go places and around the country. Wow, Annalise, that's fantastic. Was there anything that was confusing for you as you read? Yeah, I was wondering why it was so hard for them to make the bridge and a what, what caused question. What might you say? Mm. What caused them to build bridges? There you go. Okay, that's your question. Okay, how are you doing? What caused them? Think about what they did on this Page. Do you have any idea? Maybe something about this? What caused them? you got to come up with a question first. What caused them to move where? Perfect. Okay, finish that up. Okay, finish up your last question, girls. You can just read. Go ahead and read. All right. Wow, you guys did some hard work, didn't you? Let's go back to where you had your first post-it note, and you're going to share one of your questions, and we're going to talk about it. So somebody had, we, we already did the question on page five, so let's skip that one. Who has a question for us from page six or seven? You do, Jasmine. Go ahead and ask it. What caused the what caused the steam? First of all, point to the steam in the picture. Very good. So what caused that steam in the locomotive? Thumbs up if you know the answer. Okay, put your finger on the answer in the book because that's answered in the book. What caused the steam? There you go, it's right there. Do you, have to, do you know what it is? There it is. Okay, so what caused the steam, Annalisa? The boiling water turned to steam, so it was the boiling water. The boiling water caused the steam. What caused the water to boil? I'm going to ask you another question. They put something in the... So it can push the train? Yeah, but what caused the wire water to boil, to get hot? The coal? Yes, the coal, and what was the other thing they used? Wood. They put the coal and the wood in the firebox to make it heat, heat up and boil to make the yeah. steam, which steam. then caused the train to move. move. You're so smart. Turn the page. Okay. Annalisa has the question, and so does Marisol. So, Marisol, why don't you give us the question? What caused them to move to the west? Who knows why they moved to the west? What caused people in the United States to move west? Put your finger on the answer. Very good. Jasmine, you got it first. What caused them to move west? It's in the first sentence, girls. 
Mirasol, do you know what caused them to move west? Tell us about that. So basically, then they had more like, space. They had more space. They wanted more land. Excellent job. And let's see, you have one over here. Go ahead. <coughs> what caused them to build bridges? Thumbs up. Do you remember what caused them to build bridges? Hmm. Didn't read that part. Annalise did, though. I wonder if Annalise could talk to us about that. They needed to build bridges because they went over rivers. They wanted to pick the trains over rivers. Great work today. So girls, when you're reading, when you're reading informational text like this, you want to stop and ask yourself what causes, and it'll help you remember what you read. Great work today. Okay.